Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for today's live workout. We are going to do a 15 minute full body workout, which is beginner friendly. There is nothing standing, no standing exercises. We don't have any squats, we don't have any lunges, we don't have any jumps. Everything is going to be down on the mat, so it's also very knee friendly. Anyways, I haven't included any breaks in this workout, so if you need a break, feel free to take it. It's really no problem. If you need a small rest, just take the rest, get your strength back and then join me as soon as you can again. Also, if there is an exercise which is too difficult for you, just skip the exercise and join me for the next one again. And as always, I have free workout schedules on my Instagram channel. You can find them in my highlights workout plans and they are also beginner friendly. Let's get right into it. We are going to start with crunches and all the app stuff you have to pay attention because I want you to stay at the highest point possible and then everything is going to be from here. So don't lower your upper back, always crunch up and then stay here and I'm going to explain the rest to you. Let's go. Time. Start it. <laughs> Okay, the first one are high crunches. So you crunch up, stay at the highest point, and then from here, you crunch up even higher. Let's start. Come up to the highest point and then crunch up even higher. So for me, my shoulder blades are off the ground. There is nothing happening down on the mat. And I just do very tiny crunches at the upper point. I don't have a big range of motion. Everything is very small, but very controlled and I suck in my abs every time I crunch. Now lift your knees like this, put your hands on your knees and then tap with one foot to the floor, one after the other. And tap and tap. My upper body is still in the upper position and I add the little floor tap. It's only a small movement but do it very controlled. Keep the tension in your abs. Now you reach out one arm and one leg like this, and then you crunch it in again. For me, I'm doing the left side, and I'm keeping my upper body in the same position, and I'm only extending my arm and my leg. If that's too hard, you can also do only the leg or only the arm. Just do what's possible for your level. We switch sides, extend the other arm and the other leg. You can do both at the same time or only the leg or only the arm. Most important is that you keep the tension in your abs. Your lower back is flat on the floor. Very good. Okay, you stay at the highest point again. Put your arms to the side and now you crunch your knee to your face one after the other. I also try to lift my face, like lift my head a little more towards my knee with every crunch that I do. If your neck starts to hurt, you can also lay it down and only do the knee crunch. But I encourage you to stay up and do the knee crunch up here. Now put your feet to the floor and we lift our butt up to a glute bridge. My feet are shoulder right apart. I have all the weight on my heels. I don't have any weight on my toes. And I lift my hip up and down to the highest point. So it's in one line with my knees and my hip. I lower it and I lift it again. And every time I squeeze my glute. Now you walk your feet out a little wider to a wider stance. And then you perform the glute bridge again. And now that we are kind of into the movement, I want you to pay attention to really squeeze the glute every time you go up and then you hold the tension on the way down and you squeeze even more on the way up 
Hold the tension and squeeze even more. Walk your feet together to a close stance and you do the same thing again. Hold the tension on the way down, squeeze on the way up as hard as you can. We have a piece of paper in between our butt cheeks that we are trying to squeeze. Don't let that piece of paper fall down on the floor. Squeeze, hold the tension and squeeze. Hold the tension and squeeze. Now we stay at the highest point and we only do little pulses. So we have maximum engagement, maximum tension in our glutes and we only do a minimal movement of our hips up and down. Always squeezing the glutes together. That's when we make progress. Very good. And now we hold. I'm walking my feet to a normal stand so they are not so close together anymore, like this far apart. And we hold and we squeeze the glutes. Don't only hold. I really want you to squeeze your butt cheeks together. They are rock solid for me. Squeeze even more, lift your hip a little higher and hold it. Okay, we turn around, come to a tabletop position, and now we kick with one knee to every one foot to the ceiling, and we squeeze our glute every time we kick up. We hold the tension on the way down, and we squeeze even more at the other point. Hold the tension and kick. Hold the tension in your glute and kick up. Now you extend your leg and do the same thing with the straight leg. Remember to always hold the tension and then squeeze even more on the way up. Don't release, always hold the tension in your glute. And I also want you to make sure that your hips are not twisted like this, but they are always in one line. Your back is straight, you don't collapse like this, everything is straight. Your core is strong, and now I think we hold. We just hold at the upper point, squeeze the glute. Dennis was not paying attention. He was texting the girls. <laughs> no, just kidding. We hold, squeeze the glute, pull in your abs, the core is strong. I can also feel my inner thigh working and we switch sides. Kick your other heel to the ceiling, hold the tension on the way down and squeeze it even more on the way up. Hold the tension, squeeze even more. The hip is neutral, don't twist your hip. Everything is in one line. Make sure that you're pulling your abs at the same time. And remember to always hold the tension, even on the way down. Extend your leg and do the same thing straight again. Because there is a difference. You can release the tension on the way down and just relax and then kick up again. But I want your glute to be engaged all the time. Very good. Stick with me and squeeze. And squeeze. And we hold. Lift your leg up as high as you possibly can. Squeeze the glute. My inner thigh is burning. And we squeeze it as hard as we can. So next, we're gonna start with some upper body work. We're going to do a push-up and we're going to do the easy version on the knee. So we lower and we push ourselves up through the palms. We lower and we push ourselves up. The neck is neutral, the hip is neutral. So I kind of make sure I, I tuck in my pelvis and tuck in my hip 
So I'm not sticking it out in the air, but it's in one line. We come down to our belly and we continue with the Superman. Like this. So you lay down on your belly and then you lift your upper body as high as you can. This trains the lower back, which is very important if you train a lot of abs. You also need strength in the lower back. And lower back. <laughs> and lift. And lift. And lift. Now we stay up and we add a reach out. So you are in the upper position. Reach out your arms and pull them back in. Reach out your arms and pull them back. This also adds some work for the upper back. So we have lower back and upper back for this movement. Extend your arms to the side like an airplane. Bring them back to the middle and push up through the knees. Lay down on your belly, extend the arms and push up. That's an airplane push up. Very good. Only a couple of more seconds. Now we come up and we do some arm circles. We do them backwards first. So we do, we draw little circles with our arms in the air. And then as soon as you feel comfortable, we bring up the tempo and we do very quick circles. This seems to be easy at first, I know. It seems like, is that really an exercise? And now we switch directions and we do them forwards again. Bring up the tempo, hold the tension, because I promise after some time, this gets really exhausting and your arms are gonna feel so heavy and your shoulders are going to burn. A little quicker, do the circles forwards. Very good. You continue with the flappy bird. So you do little up and down motions with your hands. Like a little bird. Always keep the tension in your shoulders. Your back is straight. Your chest is out. And you do very quickly the flat bird. Hold the tension. Don't release your arms because it's starting to burn now, I know. A little quicker. And you hold. You hold in one position. You keep the tension. Don't release your arms. They are not allowed to go down to your body. They have to stay in that position. <laughs> I challenge you, stay with me. Make those shoulders burn. Because we all want toned arms, which are not bulky and masculine, just toned and firm. And we do another round of flapping bird. Stay with me, I know it's burning like hell. Little up and down motions. If it's not burning yet, do the flappy bird a little quicker. Go as quickly as you can. We want to start flying now. <laughs> Dennis hates the exercise. I was trying with him the I was trying to work out with him yesterday and he was quitting for the flappy bird. We're not quitting. Okay, we come into a mountain climbing position like this and we walk to the front and we walk to the back. We walk to the front and we walk to the back. Very slow and controlled. The body is in one line, the hip is in one line. Everything is neutral. And you only walk your feet to the front and to the back. Okay, we hold the elbow plank. We come down on our elbows and we hold the plank. Make sure that your hip is in one line with your body and then you kind of crunch in your abs like this. I know it looks ugly, but that's the most efficient version of the plank. So you crunch in your abs, the core is strong. 
I know the shoulders are still burning, but we are almost there. Don't quit. Come in all fours. And now you lift up your knees and hold a bear hold. The abs are still strong. Pull in your abs, knees are up in the air. If that's too hard, you can also lower your knees on the floor and just hold the tabletop position. Otherwise, lift up your knees and hold the bear hold. Bring down your knees. And for the last 30 seconds, we're going to relax and work on our spine mobility. Come into a cat position like this and then round your back, suck in your abs, release, breathe out and round your back, breathe in, come into the cat position. Thank you so much for joining. I actually know that Dennis was skipping one exercise. There was another high plank in there. But lucky you, we didn't perform another 30 seconds of plank. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. We worked everything from abs to butt to arms to shoulders. The entire core, lower back, we did everything. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye bye. Let's get into the live chat.